Hi guys! Okay, so this is gonna be my video response to Crafting with Liller's Birthday Bash um, challenge. So, yeah. So here is all the fun stuff. There's more stuff that I will be giving to her in her package that I bought um, as little, like as a little gift, you know? And some other little handmade stuff. But we'll start with the birthday card. Move this out of the way. I'm in my living room right now because I'm babysitting my nephew and um, <laughs> my son is asleep and my nephew is trying to sleep. You might hear him in the background, but yeah. So this is my birthday card. So I have some Maggie home paper um, that I used for this as well as um, just different like papers and ephemera. Um, yeah, so I have the swans, I have the brush stroke paper, um, I have this little ephemera piece that says happy birthday with the giant cupcake, gold foiling, I embossed this, um, I found a really cute embossing folder the other day, only spent a dollar on it, you can't beat that, and I saw it and I fell in love, so I was like, I really want to use that. It looks super pretty. These balloons are little punches that I received from um, my family member uh, who does this stuff with me. Um, so I used those on the card. I used some cute little trim. I'm leaving the uh, the inside blank, so if she wants to use this she can and then I backed it with uh, some sturdy pink cardstock that matches and yeah so I put a little bow on the little girl uh, so focus um, there's little shiny stars the trim sorry my tripod makes this really hard um, yeah so and it's uh, all puffed up. They're all on dimensionals. Um, so that way it kind of gives it some height. It has a little like gold dangly thread as the balloon um, ribbon. Which, you know, just adds a cute little bouncy element. Which I wish you guys could see in this, but you guys can't. Um, I don't have better lighting, so <laughs> unfortunately this is what I gotta work with. Okay. And then, so I made as the two embellishments, bag toppers. I made two bag toppers. This one has a little crown, kind of hard to see in that glare, even though there's not much light in here. So it's a little bit there. It says, wishing you all your wishing for. Sorry, I forgot what it said. <laughs> kind of hard to see. So that one has pom-pom trim, um, a crepe paper rosette, um, a scallop that matches the, I die cutted the rosette to match the doily um, centerpiece. So it kind of gives like cutesy feeling to the crown. And then there's little gold stars that are wood veneer and then for the other one which is really hard to see because it's crinkle paper it says shine brightly and it has um mac macaroons as, as that's how you say it macaroons um has macaroons this ephemera matches this ephemera, I used this package of ephemera that I got from Tuesday morning throughout the whole thing along with the Maggie Holmes papers. Um, so again, this is the paint stripe paper on the back of this one. This one's on a pink doily with the swans. And it has a crepe uh, paper rosette in the back with little gold trim. And it says shine brightly. And I used 
use my mini attacher to attach the swan paper. And then this bag topper, I used a little cupcake um, die cut and um, some flowers. And then this little uh, tag. It, it was a tag. I made it into a ephemera piece. I just added a little bow on top. But it says sprinkle salt everything and then see inside. And yeah, I just added some crinkle paper. It's backed on some Maggie Holmes paper. It's in a resealable bag. I'll pull it out. Oh, I don't think I can pull it out. Oh, no, I stapled it. That's why. So, <laughs> my bad. Um, Lily, when you get this, you're going to have to pry off those staples or like just pry up the back so you can get them off um but the um the bag toppers themselves are attached with washi tape so you can easily just pull them off and it won't damage so i just did that so it'd be easier but i forgot i stapled them um <laughs> so that's the um embellishment sorry i'm tongue tied today like i said i'm watching kids <laughs> okay and then i made her a giant tassel and it is all filled with ribbon and trim and threads and all just sorts of cute cutesy things very bright colorful different pinks different purples a little bit of gold here and there some donuts because they didn't have cupcakes so donut <laughs> so that is your tassel this is the um first tag So it just says Lily on the front, um, that same ephemera, I added a little pearl, um, this one's reinforced with a donut, right there, I used the swan paper, I did double layer trim, those balloons again, from my cousin, um, that she punched out, just added a them and put dimensionals on them okay and they are all very sturdy and um backed they're plain on the back so it's just one way um this is another ephemera piece that i turned into a tag and it just says celebrate and it has the little um ma macaroons on it again this one is a pocket tag i gave you some of those donut reinforcements and a bunch of those little ephemera pieces and some die cuts and just as best day ever with a little die cut cupcake that matches the bag topper on the bag of bag toppers um little flowers little uh, uh, like ribbon flowers with jemmies this one's just a deco tag and it says happy birthday with some enamel dots another donut enforcer same ephemera, pom-pom trim, all on, again, the Maggie Holmes. This was another ephemera piece, a sweet birthday. I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see it better. <laughs> uh, this was an ephemera piece from that collection, from that little, like, pack, too. And I turned it into a pocket for her. So it has some, like, flowers, a tag, another ephemera piece, and a ticket from... The Maggie Holmes um, ephemeras and then I gave you some cute like I don't know what these are like um like resin flowers kind of like I did the teal and the blues for this one this is a little shaker tag it has like little unicorns in there that are on the same paper as the balloon on the front and has little stars. Um, again, a, the little girl to match. Um, trim. 
make a wish another donut enforcer just a cute little shaker tag um a little um like birthday tag like it has those with you know those noisemakers you know the noisemakers i'm bad with whatever names those are and then i just gave her um a sample uh this one is dry body oil and it's apricot scented um this one is like um where you can add a picture i wanted her to add a picture of her and wifey um on there for her birthday and just says enjoy today and it's on the maggie holmes with a little bit of trim you just remove this if you have like a polaroid camera or something it's the perfect size you can just stick it on there and then last but not least there's this also decorative one um, I put Let's Celebrate, another ephemera piece, a little um, gold happy birthday sticker, your age, and then a little tassel charm that you can easily just unattach from the jump ring. Um, I'm going to add a clasp to this. Um, I can't fit the clasp on that because I couldn't find my bigger one <laughs> um, my uh, eyelet I couldn't find my bigger eyelet but I will add a clasp onto the um, jump ring just so if you want to use this as like a charm you definitely could but it's just um, yeah a little dangly charm for you to have and that's everything and then like I said there's a lot of stuff that well there's a few things that I'll be adding to her package as well as just like little extras. Just because crafting with Liller is freaking awesome. <laughs> so there is my video response. So there's my tags, my bag toppers, and the birthday card. And I'll leave her a little note in there with everything too. Um, I will be mailing this out to her this weekend, hopefully. And and this will be posted up before she receives. Just because I want to make sure it's up beforehand. But, yeah. I thought it turned out really cute. Um, if you have any questions on my tags, most of them are Sizzix, um tags. Like uh, the shapes. There are tags from Sizzix. And then some of my stuff is with my cuddle bug, my Cricut cuddle bugs with my embossing. Um, these are die cutted, they were given to me. Um, yeah, so some of it's from my Cricut, some of it's given to me, some of it was stuff that I had on hand. Um, yeah, thank you guys and have a good day.